Hey, what's up guys? Solo here, Viper Tactical Milsim, and today we have a special guest in the house, my man Dylan Seabree from Index Milsim. Now, exactly what is uh, Index Milsim? Uh, well, Index Milsim is basically just like any other uh, event company that produces Milsim events. Um, the only exception is, you know, every, every event's different, you know. Eric Milsim is different from Lion Claws, Lion Claws is different from Black Sheep. Um, so when I made Index, obviously I went in thinking, hey, what can I do different? And um, you, I think a lot of people can see that in the rules. Um, just everything to do with it. I've really tried to streamline a lot of stuff and provide a quality event. Um, okay, so it's I, a little bit different. So, so uh, exactly where are you from? Where are you based at? I'm actually from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, I was born there, raised pretty much most of my life there. Um, I did enlist though, so you know I've been from Georgia all the way to Washington and in between, been overseas. Um, so I've been a lot of places, but you know I always get back to Oklahoma. So all right, yeah, so well, well traveled gentleman. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> Alright, All right. Uh, you said you were enlisted, but you're obviously an airsofter uh, yeah. now at this point, first and foremost. Uh, uh, when did you decide that you wanted to make the leap from playing airsoft into uh, promoting games? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Um, you know, honestly, I, I run a local field, and um, it uh, we started doing a event to people just were asking about it, you know. And uh, it was still a little bit more of like a local type of event, not really super milsim or anything. Um, but after doing it, I said, man, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, I got a lot of good feedback. And we yelled another and so on and so on. Um, but for me, I, I really like doing things that I have a passion about. You know, it's not just about money. It's not about getting a bunch of people out. Um, so, I, you know, I was doing well at these events, but I said, man, I really want to do the military stuff, the milsim stuff, because... Immersions. Immersions, yeah. Immersions. Um, well, you know, when I was in the military, I really enjoyed doing the training and stuff, and, mm. and that's what kind of the milsim stuff reminds me of. Uh, so, that's kind of what I wanted to do, so that's okay. what I went and did. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, oh, by the way, um, what's the name of your field? Oh, yeah. Shameless uh, plug here. So, and in case you guys are wondering, it's Oklahoma City area. It's called Stockyard Airsoft. It's a 200,000 square foot indoor facility. It has two floors. Uh, the bottom floor, we keep pretty much dark. So, you know, you have a lot of low light application stuff going on down there. Um, but if you want to check it out, it's www.stockyardairsoft.com. Uh, feel free to shoot us an email or any questions or whatever. I'm happy to answer you guys on that as well. I can attest to the quality of the field, and there's uh, there's no engagement distance at 400 feet per second, which I think is very important. <laughs> so you get to bring your rifle in, shoot semi-auto only, but uh, you can tag somebody at uh, you know zero feet, which I think is really cool. So you know if you're willing to get out there and you know spend the time, money, you might as well uh, you know take the licks, right? It's a pretty unique place. I don't I don't think you could drive uh, five six hours away from Oklahoma City and probably find something like it uh, for a weekend game, you know? Uh, so I definitely think it's worth checking out. Now, uh, as uh, somebody who has served their country before, um, what exactly is it that you are going to take from that experience, uh, traveling and, and military you know, training, mm -hmm. uh, and how are you trying to translate into mil sim? Like, what when I bring stuff over from the military, because I know a lot of participants and players say, oh, he's in the military, he's going to bring a lot of cool stuff over. Um, it's not necessarily the things you think it would be. Uh, what, what my staff really sat down and looked at, and we said, "What do we want to bring from, you know, our service over?" Was uh, the experience. Well, that's what we wanted to provide. And then we said, "What kind of experience?" And I said, "Teamwork. You know, that brotherhood, that cooperation. Um, you know, going from the military sector to the civilian sector. That was really hard for me because." Um, I'm sure it is for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's not this sense of uh, connection between uh, people in like a civilian workplace. So, I understand. Uh, we were, that was kind of the foundation of what we wanted to build Index on was you go out there with your group, you get to know them, be, you become really close, and uh, you get to have that experience of going 100% not for yourself, but for the whole of the group. Um, which. I think that pretty much is like what everyone's really looking for. Uh, you have a very uh, important event coming up. Yeah. It's your first one here in Texas, which we're very, very psyched to have a new uh, game promoter here in the great state of Texas. Uh, tell me about it, tell me where it's at, and uh, what the date is. Okay. Uh, so first of all, it's called Operation Sun Devil. Um, it's in Waxahachie, Texas, at a new and upcoming airsoft field, actually. A uh, gentleman that owns it, he's going to be calling it uh, 878 Airsoft, and it's about 200 acres of um, gorgeous land, really. I mean, we just got back from there, actually. I'm 
they can't see it, but I'm, I'm muddy from the knee down, all the, all the rain, you know. Woods, um, um, trenches, anything like that? I, I mean, mean, it's got trenches, it's woods, it's got fields or nice grass that, uh, I mean, a whole squad could probably hide in the grass alone okay. if they wanted. Um, it's got a ni really nice ravine that just goes all the way down the field. It's, it's really pretty, but I'll, I'll tell you what, if you're not in shape, I mean, it's probably one of the hardest fields I've been to. Sun Devil, the whole storyline with Index, we have a, a whole story that we go off of based on what these events are um, results from, basically. So, uh, we have it on the website if you guys want to take a look at the long, but I'm just going to kind of go through a brief. You have the JTAC, which is the Joint Atlantic uh, Coalition, or Joint Transatlantic Coalition, sorry. That's the green. That's yeah, the green. green. That's green. the green team. JTAC. All you guys will know it as green team. All right. um, and then you have the uh, CSAT, which is... Uh, central states of Atlantic Territory. So, so the civilian guys, they'll have uh, two different color shamas in their pockets, a green and a tan one, and depending on how the forces treat them throughout the day, uh, there'll be certain things that the admins will trigger that uh, they'll basically throw on green or tan shamals and actually oh, fight okay. for the factions. So it's not something that they're going to decide on their own, they're actually gonna, the admins are gonna tell them when, so they're not gonna be jumping we'll tell from them one side when to the other. to do it. Okay, yeah. But how they actually get treated is up to them. Right, So each right. individual civilian guy will go, hey, you know, green team's been really nice to me, they brought me food. So when we call for it, they're gonna put their green shamal and fight for green guys. Okay. Um, and to kind of help with like, I, I'm sure we all have been into events where you shoot the civilian guy and he turns around and shoots you like five seconds later. Um, yeah, so how it works out if they're combat and you shoot them, they just go back to being civilians and you don't have to worry about them engaging you again. Okay. Um, but we think it'll bring a, a pretty level, pretty cool level of immersion for interacting with the local populace. All right, so last but not least, I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, sponsors that you might be having for the event, mm -hmm. uh, the player packs, what are you going to anything out of it I mean it's pretty similar I mean love our swag don't we? <laughs> yeah uh, it's pretty similar to like a lot of events that you're gonna go to you know you'll get a patch uh, you'll get a player pack yeah um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the index patches but uh, me and my wife actually designed them and I, I, I'm pretty proud of them a lot of the time but anyways you'll get a patch uh, you know you'll get a map you'll get all the information regarding uh, you know your forces and stuff to make sure you're, you're informed what's going on uh, additionally you know we're gonna have sponsors out um, I know Airsoft GI is sponsoring Sun Devil for one. Uh, it's probably the biggest name I can think of, obviously. Uh, but you know they're gonna they're gonna go ahead and uh, bring out the raffle items and stuff, just like any other event. All right. So cool. And that's gonna happen after the event, right? Raffle yes. After the event? Okay, yeah. Cool. So you, make right. sure you guys stay because uh, always. We're stay. not gonna give you stuff if you leave. Or give me all your tickets. I, yeah. I never win anything. <laughs> so it's actually I give out t tickets after the event. Just that's smart. Yeah. I think a lot of people started doing that lately. So, yeah, so. <laughs> well, I mean, it sounds like it's going to be an awesome event. It's at a Virgin Field in Texas with a brand new company, IndexMilsim.com. I'm Solo. This is Dylan. Make sure you check him out at IndexMilsim.com and also check us out at ViperTacticalMilsim.com. Thanks, guys.